Hello everyone, in this video I'll go through my very old MRCS notes. Uh, so random, I'll, uh, random MRCS notes, so we'll discuss all these, what I've written here. These are very important for the MRCS exams and your FRCS exams. So, uh, so let's begin with uh, your uh, coagulopathies. So in that, what do we use? So here are the, I've uh, written the main major ones, your uh, cryoprecipitate, yeah, your, your FFP, fresh frozen plasma, and your platelets, yeah. So we must know uh, their shelf life and, uh, you know, which uh, uh, coagulative, coagulative factors do they have. So so let's begin with, so this is how I learned at that time. Uh, so cryoprecipitate, yeah, it starts with C. So C has C is the third letter of your alphabet, yeah, uh, third letter in your alphabet. So C, remember C, third letter, so therefore it is stored at minus 30 degrees celsius yeah it is stored at minus 30 so c third third letter third uh, number third number so three from your cryoprecipitate and another thing to remember about cryoprecipitate is uh, it is rich in your uh, uh, factor eight and your uh, fibrinogen yeah in your fibrinogen so this is all about uh, cryoprecipitate its shelf life is around uh, two years yeah uh, so this is your uh, cryoprecipitate then if we talk about ffp fresh frozen plasma so of course uh it is fresh frozen frozen is the word here frozen frozen is the key so of course if it's frozen therefore uh, it is much more much more below than your uh, uh, cryoprecipitate yeah so it's minus 40 to minus 50 degree yeah so it is much more frozen so that's why it's ffp fresh frozen plasma it is so uh, easy to remember from your uh, uh, easy to remember comparatively to your cryoprecipitate cryoprecipitate was at your minus 30 degrees whereas your ffp is at is a, is at minus 40 to minus m minus 50 all right so uh, this one is your uh, ffp and this one was your cryoprecipitate yeah so uh so in uh, cogula, suppose there's a hemorrhage due to coagulopathies and all that so in that case you will prefer ffp yeah ffp is much more preferred comparing uh, all right so ffp fresh frozen plasma fresh frozen plasma it also is very rich in many factors yeah it is rich in factors it is half life is also around two years uh, two year uh, uh, two year shelf life it has also then the third one is your your platelets now uh, one thing to remember is shelf life of platelets is just five days so fresh frozen plasma and your cryoprecipitate you can store for a very longer time but your platelets they aren't they can't be stored more than five days so they must be used yeah their shelf life is less and uh, uh, since p p here is the key here the keyword is p so p is positive so therefore we won't now uh, we won't talk about uh, minus yeah minus we will talk about 20 to 24 degrees celsius yeah so it will be 20 to 24 degrees celsius here so this is the main difference first of all the main difference for the uh, frcs purposes is like um mrcs frcs purposes or for uh, any exam sake uh cryoprecipitate yeah third letter c yeah, it is 3, A, B, C, so 1, 2, 3. So it's minus 30 degree, yeah, it's cryo, even the word precipitate, cryo, so that means it's frozen, yeah, so it's kind of a frozen, uh, something cooler. So it's minus 30 degree, it is stored at minus 30 degrees. Then your fresh frozen plasma, here the keyword is F, frozen, so therefore it's much more, uh, uh, less. it is much more cooler than your cryo precipitate, so it's, it can't be minus 30, it would be minus 50, minus 40 to minus 50 then comes the platelets platelets is your p p means positive so here we aren't talking about minus we are talking about um, warmer temperature yeah so warmer temperature is 20 to 24 degrees celsius so this is all about uh, the uh, uh, storage point and temperature which they can be stored at and uh, the shelf life of cryoprecipitate and FFP is around two years, whereas of platelets is around uh, five days. So very important points. This is even the practical knowledge one must know all these. Thank you.